I think mushrooms are intelligence. They're also magic and not in a psychedelic form. Like penicillin is a mushroom medicine and it's, it's a fairly like somewhat new, reasonably new medicine that has saved hundreds of thousands of millions of lives. And it's these little guys, like these little guys that have this magical ability to give brain power and energy and stress reduction into our bodies. It's pretty fascinating. Right now, you're breathing mushrooms, I'm breathing mushrooms. Like we're having them every day, we're just not knowing them, we're not acknowledging their presence, but they're in our lives every single day. And these little things can have a massive influence in our physiology. My name is Taro and I'm the founder of Four Sigmatic and I'm a 13th generation Finnish farmer slash forager and a mushroom enthusiastic. Four Sigmatic makes natural superfood products and focuses mostly on things like functional mushrooms and adaptogens and we apply the th products that people already consume on a daily basis. So what I've learned in plus a decade working in health and wellness is that building new habits is one of the hardest things you can do. And compliance is everything. Like, You can have a great gym membership, but if you never go, it doesn't really help you. And that's where the benefits are. Like Mushrooms are, are not going to help you unless you use them. So we focus on things that people already have a ritual and, and our main, main product currently is mushroom coffee. Mushroom coffee is basically a coffee with less or no jitters and less acidity and um, often less caffeine as well and it gives you like energy through the mushrooms and productivity, boosting benefits through other superfoods and adaptogens, but people rarely forget to have their coffee. It's, it's a ritual that they're consistent on. We're an employee-owned company. There's no market size to compare. You can't say that this is the market size that we're disrupting. Or not a lot of people believe the thesis that we could disrupt the coffee and tea industry, for example, by offering a healthier option. Because when you didn't raise venture capital and institutional money, nobody said what you could or could not do. So we did a lot of stuff that were like, we just felt that that was the right thing to do. We also like had to figure out how do we get the word out on products without paying for it. So we just built the relationships, we educated, and, and those are the things that are now all these buzzy, you know, new ways of marketing is just relationships, education, building truly awesome design, other things like we could contribute that didn't require money that much. A lot of people either have a very strong opinion of mushrooms, like either love them or hate them. But really nobody was like, oh, I love to drink mushrooms. There was never a point when I didn't believe in mushrooms. It was more like, how can I get this done? And what's the lead domino? Like, what are the things that I can more easily rally to get to the things that, the big changes I want to create in life? Sometimes you have a vision of a business that you want to get to, but then you have to do the reality check. Nobody wants to drink mushrooms, so what is the easiest way to get them to drink mushrooms. But I mean, when you sell mushrooms and you promote the functional benefits of mushrooms, it's really hard to not go in a meeting where somebody is like, hey, 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 are these magic mushrooms? And in the beginning, I was like a little like offended because my premise is not to promote psychedelics per se. Like I'm just a PR for the all kingdom of mushrooms. And there's so much more around mushrooms than just psychedelics. But when I, I guess I kind of like went along with it, I'm like, yeah, they're, they're like everyday magical. And like one of our more popular hashtags within our companies on shrooms, and that was started by our customers. Like our customers started hashtagging their own shrooms at work. And maybe that was one of the things is instead of like fighting it, just going along with people's preconceived conceptions and then educating them on, you know, what might be the other way to look at the same thing. Actually, one of the most fascinating parts about mushrooms is that like if not every day every week I learn something I didn't know like they keep surprising me I fell in love with mushrooms through my mother who took me and my brother out foraging when we were just a little yay high and we learned about mushrooms and my father's favorite food was this mushroom soup and as a, as a little, little kid like fa my father was my hero and that was just always fascinating for me to see like his obsession with mushrooms and I've been fortunate enough to spend the last decade plus just pretty deep dived on mushrooms and I still feel like I'm constantly learning more. I think it's fascinating when somebody especially starts a company or a product business they love to say their product is the best product in the world or the best service in the world and it cures all, does all, right? I don't think mushrooms are a solution for everything in life but I do think they're highly underrated. They're often talked about as like yet another vegetable, something you put onto your pizza or pasta, but they're actually a kingdom, it's a kingdom of fungi. And when something is a kingdom, be it plants, animals, bacteria, fungi, offers a lot of promise. 
And what makes mushrooms extra special out of the kingdoms is that we share almost half of our DNA as animals or humans with fungi. But also about 40% of pharmaceuticals are derived from fungi or utilize some sort of fungi in them. So there's a lot of promise for humans and animals, but particularly I guess we're interested in ourselves, um, what mushrooms can do for us.